This week on the Pioneer Sports Report, we're going to be talking about three different Sacred Heart athletes who all got awarded NEC Player of the Week, plus wins and losses from our men's basketball team, women's basketball team, men's ice hockey team, and our track and field team. Coming up next. Welcome back to the Pioneer Sports Report. I'm Julia Kennedy alongside Luke Hetrick, where we have a holiday-themed Pioneer Sports Report for you this week. Lots of little presents wrapped up with bow and ties and all that fancy schmancy stuff, aka NEC Players of the Week. We got three of them for you. But until then, we're going to be talking just a couple of newsy things. So what was going on newsy-wise? Well, let's get to it. And I'm going to stuff everyone's stockings with some knowledge and get you up to date on all things Sacred Art Athletics. First, let's start with the basketball team and the women. They were hoping for a holly jolly Christmas, but baby, it was cold outside for them. Women's mm -hmm. basketball team goes to Hartford, in-state rival, falls by five on a little bit of a losing streak right now. They'll turn it around soon. Men's basketball team fell at Lafayette by one point. They played great, but they lost by one point. Could the hockey team, could they maybe change it? I, I don't know, but nah, they couldn't. They fell at Dartmouth, who's a very good team in their own right. Fell eight to three. We'll expect better things from them, but finally got some good news. Santa ate the cookies and the milk and delivered it to the track and field team. They had a great showing at the Jay Cariello Invitational, the indoor meet. Plenty of pioneers had great showing, but the day belonged to Colby Smith. What, what else can we say about this girl? But I, I'm going to throw up a caution flag on this. 46 feet and 2 inches, that's how far she threw the shot put. Um, Just what? wrap your mind around that one. Wow. I don't think I can. Can't understand it, but congratulations to her. And the men's basketball team, they tied a nice little bow onto the end of their week. They took on Mitchell, another in-state team here in Connecticut. Opened up, as Captain Insano would call it, a can of you-know-what. Mm. Watch it. Censor that. And won 104 to 68. Great showing by the men's basketball team, just continuing to impress matching last year's win total earlier this weekend. <clears throat> Our Eric O'Neill Sheffield caught up with some of the guys on the team. We just focused on us. You know, I want to give those guys credit for competing. You know, obviously it's a, you know, it's a D2 team, but you never want to take anybody lightly. Um, I think one of the keys was we, we really went hard in practice listening to the message that coach was trying to get through to us, and I think that was key today. Uh, this game, we just came in to try to focus on defense. We, we try to worry about uh, our communication, being in the right positions on the court, and overall improving our defensive percentages on the season. And this is our last episode of the Pioneer Sports Report before the Christmas break. Talk about what your most, what would we say was your best gift that you ever got for Christmas? Oh, man, my best gift. Oh, man. I, I got an acoustic guitar. It's, it's, it's collecting spiderwebs right now, but I got an acoustic guitar when I was seven. Probably my Xbox 360 a couple of years ago. I'm a, I'm a big video game freak, so I like Xbox. Yeah, my mom got me and my brother's Xbox 360 a long time ago, and she usually never gets us one, so it was crazy when she got us that. But Luke and Julia, I'm going to have to figure out something to do for you guys, but now back to you guys in the studio. Thanks, Eric, my man. Always appreciate it. Remind us, we got to stop it. Stop and jump. Yeah, Target later. <clears throat> yeah, we're good. We gotta get yeah. a gift. Yeah. <laughs> but it does remind me when I was a little boy of all the fancy <laughs> Christmas presents I got. Best present, hands down, I ever got basketball hoop. Brand new hoop. Used to play on it all day long. Just never got any good at basketball. No. Didn't help me. It really didn't. But my favorite Christmas present definitely helped me in my pursuit to know everything I possibly can about Harry Potter, including working on my British accent. It was a set of every single Harry Potter book in the British version from my dear old mom. Love ya, shout out to you mom, you freaking rock. I hope your present to the viewers is that British accent because America's really gonna fall in love with that. But our Sacred Heart <laughs> Athletics team fell in love with some presents they got this mm -hmm. weekend. Tell us a little bit about some of the athletes taking home some prestigious awards. Oh yeah, Santa Slay definitely brought some fantastic presents under the trees of three different Sacred Heart athletes, two of which go to the track and field team. You really can't stop them this season. We talked a little bit about Daniel Graw last Pioneer Sports Report. If you haven't watched that one, go back and watch it. We have some highlights from him. But Daniel Graw and Emil Bolduc, they both were named NEC Player of the Week for track of obviously their respective ones, men and women's. But 
they would just continue to kill it, especially at that last Invitational they went to. But I think this week's Pioneer Sports Report really goes out to Kane Broom of the men's basketball team. He not only was named ECAC Player of the Week, but also NEC Player of the Week and Rookie of the Week. The, only the third time in history that a freshman has taken home both awards and the first time since 1998 when NBA draft pick Corsley Edwards had that award. Philadelphia 76ers, you're on the clock. Take Kane Broom, mm -hmm. just saying, throwing it out there. But Kane Broom, what more can we say about this guy? I mean, really, he's given us a bunch of presents already this year. And for a freshman, he stepped into a role for a team that struggled last year, and they've already matched their win total of five this early in the season. You have to give a lot of the credit to Kane Broom mm -hmm. because he's really able to get it done. <laughs> Guy's just been doing great. Freshman, he's got plenty of years ahead of him, bigger things to come, and bigger things to come in the new year here with the Pioneer Sports Report, our Sacred Heart Athletics will continue to do some damage on their respective playing fields. But for Julia Kennedy, I'm Luke Ketrick. Have a happy holiday, everyone, and a happy new year. We'll see you in 2015. Ah, oh, there's some mistletoe. <laughs> you know what that means. <laughs>